Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to do this easy chocolatey brown smoky eyes for you guys. So if you want to see how I did it, just keep on watching. So the first item I'm going to take is the Essence Eye Shadow Base. And I'm just going to add that to my lids. And that's going to help my kind of shadows adhere to my lid. I'm going to pat that in with the Beauty Blender. And then I'm going to set that with my Real Techniques Setting Brush. And just go back in with the other eye. Just kind of blend that in and set that with a Real Techniques Setting Brush and my face powder. Then I'm going to take the Sonia Kashuk Eye on Neutral Matte Palette. This is an all matte palette. And that first shade I'm going to take, it's kind of like a mauve pinky shade um, and I'm gonna take the Sonia Kashuk fluffy brush the 109 brush and just dust that all around my crease this is just gonna be the transition shade and it's just gonna give you kind of like a pinky mauve transition you could have done that or the more orangey one it was hard for me to decide in general then I'm gonna go back in and I'm gonna take that more like cool tone brownish shade and a Morphe M433 brush and this color I'm gonna put directly into my crease I'm going to put that into the crease and blend, blend, blend. Really want to blend this color out and into that first transition shade. So just a blending that in. And it's probably more blending I actually did than what you'll see. But just kind of getting that in there because you really want a nice seamless transition with the shade that you're going to put on your lid. This one in the middle and then the other pinky shade kind of um, transitioning out, blowing it out. Then I'm just going to go back in with that same first fluffy brush I use and just blending those two shades together you can add a little bit more pink or just kind of blend out on its own then if you don't have a brown shadow base I'm actually using this is the Rimmel Scandal Eyes Eyeliner it's really really creamy and I'm placing this at my lid just to kind of create a darker base for that and blending it out do one eye at a time because this dries pretty quickly so just add some and then blend that out with your finger then I'm going in with that chocolatey shade in the Sonia Kashuk palette is the only palette I use for my eyes and I am just patting that packing and patting that onto my lid and just going back and forth and just adding more color to intensify it because I just want it kind of like a smoky eye but the smoke just on the lid and then going lighter as we go up then I'm just going back in with a clean brush and blending the edges of the shade that I put on my lid and into the crease. A clean brush. The cleaner the brushes, the better these transitions will be. Then just going back in because whenever you blend, you kind of lose some color and just adding some color. So just keep adding to the intensity that you want and blend it out. Add and blend, add and blend. Then just going right back in with that same brush and blending the product that we patted on. Just back and forth, back and forth. Now for my face, I've already used my Cover FX Illuminating Face Primer. And then I'm going to go in my Sonia Kashuk All Covered Up Concealer for blemishes. And that guy right there, I'm not sure if that's a pimple or if that's a bug bite. Um, so I've been kind of switching back and forth from pimple cream to like cortisone. Um, but just trying to cover that up. Then I'm mixing my favorite combo right now, the Milani Conceal and Perfect and the L'Oreal True Match Lomi Foundation. And just using a beauty blender just to kind of blend that out throughout my face. I love, love, love this combo you get a combination of the coverage from the Milani and the luminosity from the L'Oreal. So I've really been liking these plus these are the two colors that suit me right now. Then I'm going to go in with my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer and just put that underneath my eyes. Um, we're really going to kind of use this to highlight and go too, too light with this. This is a light slash medium shade. It have a light shade, um, but I figured this was good while I'm still tan and will be better for me when my tan kind of fades. Then just going back in with the Beauty Blender and blending that out. So blending up down the bridge of my nose, forehead, Cupid's bow. And then I will go back in and blend underneath my eyes. I will go one eye at a time. And I really like with this uh, concealer, kind of blend down, blend out, and then blend up. Just so you're not blending the majority of the product up into the creases of your eyes. If you're like me and you have really bad creasing, blend down, out, and then whatever left on the beauty blender, blend up underneath the eyes. It'll save you a lot of creasing. Then just going in with the NYX HD Finishing Powder in the color Banana and just packing that underneath to set that concealer. Going back into the Sonia Kashuk palette in the pencil brush and that first shade that we put directly into the crease, that cool tone brown, and just putting that underneath the lash line. Um, you can kind of leave it blank, but I kind of want 
want to smoke it out under there since we've got a lot of smokiness going on on the lid going back into the Sonia Kashuk palette and then taking that um, chocolatey shade that we put on the lid same pencil brush and blending that out underneath my eyes as well so you can do both you can do you know just one color but I kind of just want to do both colors in general underneath the eyes then I'm going in I use my NYX micro brow pencil my matte liquid liner for my wing and then I use my cocoa lashes in the style Queen Bee for my lashes off camera a little bit faster <laughs> then I'm just gonna take a mixture of those two kind of more white shade and more beigey shades so it's not too stark white underneath um, the brow just for a little bit of highlight just a little bit of pop and it's still matte you can use shimmer but I just kind of wanted to stick to this one palette for the eyes in general and then so you don't have a harsh transition just going back in with just a clean fluffy brush this is the Anastasia brush that comes in their palettes love it so so much and just mix in a little bit of that uh, mauve shade if you want and just so you kind of have that pink you know kind of transitioning in between and you can see this blending a lot a lot of work but take your time then I'm just gonna go in with the Mac mineralize skin finish natural powder and I'm just gonna use that to lightly dust over my face and then for my bronzer I'm gonna take the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil bronzer I love I've been loving this bronzer lately so so much and I'm just gonna use that to bronze around my skin you can just do bronzer if you'd like I definitely think it helps warm up the skin give it dimension like that like it just brings dimension to my very round face I'm just a bronzer girl in general now it's hard for me for not to go with bronzer but I also like to go in I'm taking my Catrice contouring palette and this is definitely the cooler shade and a Sonia Kasha kind of more like flathead definer brush and I'm just placing this product underneath my cheekbones and then underneath my chin to add more specific dimension and just kind of blending up with that brush but then going back in with this Morphe um, kind of it's contour-ish brush but I like it for bronzer as well but just blending that out further a little bit fluffier so you can definitely blend out those harsh lines then I'm gonna go back in with that NYX HD finishing powder and I love this trick just really just dig your brush in there get a lot of product and just swipe that underneath your bronzer and your contour and just helps clean it up bring it in inside the cheeks in case you went in too far I love this so much if you're in a hurry or in general if you know you're just not as precise and just clean that up and it looks even better it doesn't make the bronzer drop so low going in with the Milani brush in the color Bellissimo bronze and just adding that to my cheekbones with my Target up and up brush so just giving the face a little bit more warmth um, you could have gotten a little bit cooler but I went with the Bellissimo bronze because I haven't used it in a while <laughs> And then I'm just going back in with that dual fiber brush from Real Techniques and just blending the bronzer, the brush, and the powder together just so we have a little bit more of a seamless transition. Then for my highlight, I'm going to take my Becca highlight in Opal. Um, something a little bit more cooler not too golden and I'm just dusting that on top of my cheekbones I I don't know I was really loving the highlight so I kind of went a little bit ham not too too intense hope I didn't blind you but I just I was loving it today so I just went for it then I just took some of that highlight and put it down the bridge of my nose and my cupid's bow just kind of highlight that and then kind of took my this is my Mac eyeliner in the color Costa Riche it's got a little bit of a reddish tint to it kind of like the reddish on our lid and just using that to line my waterline I definitely love the creaminess of this eyeliner pencil and the color as well then I'm just gonna go in and L'Oreal telescopic I'm going to use that for my tops to blend my real lashes and my false lashes as well as I love this for my bottom lashes. It really, really helps them like it doesn't clump up. It just kind of coats them and makes them nice and long. Then going in with a flat shader brush and some of that Becca Opal highlight and just adding that to the inner corners of my eye just to give it a little bit of pop within all of the madness going on in my eye. I'm taking the Sonia Kashuk lip liner in the shade Maple. I love this lip liner so, so much. It's a beautiful brown lip liner. So if you're in the market for it, definitely pick this one up. It's so creamy. And honestly, I love the color so much that I lined my lips. And then I was like, usually I will fill in my lips with the lip liner and then go on top of the lipstick. But I love the color so much. I was like, you know what? This is just going to be my lip color. 
and that is a completed look i hope you guys enjoyed let me know if you check it out i love that sonia kashuk eye neutral matte palette i definitely just had to do a different look for you guys and i love how it came out make sure to subscribe to keep up with some more videos and i'll see you guys next time